All right, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sanjay Dalal, the founder and CEO of Ogoing. How's it going? It's fine, Sanjay. Good to see you all. I think when you all joined, uh, uh, everyone is muted by default. Uh, uh, feel free to unmute yourself. Uh, I, I've been told you can use a space bar. It's the easy thing to do. And you can unmute yourself and, and share how's it going. And, and uh, you know, if you don't mind, mute yourself again so that we don't get a lot of uh, external noise as we are you know having the round table here uh, so again i welcome everyone to join today on may 21st uh, somebody was sharing like today is the, the 21st uh, day of the year in the 21st century and 21st year i'm like okay i think someone has a lot of free time here <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so in any case uh, uh, you know, it is May, and uh, I think we're closing in on May, actually. It's uh, another week or two, or week or less to go, and hoping everybody has some uh, fun plans for Memorial Day weekend, uh, and, you know, something fun with the family, picnics, uh, or maybe even camping, uh, hopefully, you know, if, if the weather is turning out to be better now in SoCal, at least. So, again, I'm Sanjay Dalal, the founder and CEO of Ogoing. Today, we are gathered today for the business roundtable on LinkedIn pages, how LinkedIn can help you grow your business brand and attract new customers, as well as we'll also take a look at the ongoing side of things as well and how ongoing can help you attract new customers as well. So we have the chat going and, you know, if you don't mind, you can introduce yourself in chat, uh, you know, introduce yourself, who you are, what your business is uh, and, uh, you know, how folks can connect and contact you actually. That'll be great if you can do that in the chat. And what we'll do is at the end of it, you can save the chat so you can then have everyone's contacts right there. And if you're not able to save it, then you know just shoot me an email and I'll be happy to send over the chat, you know, and all the good stuff, you know, after the round table. Uh, so let me get a quick poll here to, to get a lay of the land and see how things are going. So I'm just gonna launch the poll here. Uh, and uh, it's just a single response, how's business? <laughs> and uh, I like to get a quick pulse on how folks are doing. And I'll share the results right after. So give you guys five more seconds. Uh, you just have to hit one response here. Nothing too complicated. <laughs> How is business? Yep. Getting some good responses here. So let me go ahead and end the poll and, and share the results here. And uh, yeah, look at that. We're, we're changing, you know, folks. We have been running a poll similar to this for the last several roundtables on ongoing. And, uh, you know, it used to be okay or not bad. And uh, I think uh, that used to be the majority before. Now we're getting, you know, in the good and the great categories. That's awesome. Uh, whoever said great, kudos to you. Congratulations and uh, keep going. So, uh, you know, this is uh, this is a good way to, to get the ice going. Uh, so let me start off uh, with the round table here. We, or we have a small audience, so let's do this before we get into the main topic. I'm going to have each one of you, you know, give you all one minute to a minute and a half. Don't go over. Otherwise, I'm allowed to use the mute button for my end. Just kidding. <laughs> so, and and quickly introduce yourself, uh, you, your business, uh, you know, how's it going? We already kind of talked about it. And what is your biggest need today? I think that would be a good way for you to say what you really need. I mean, and, and be honest about that. And then, uh, you know, hopefully folks who are here, they can come and uh, talk to you, you know, either chat during the round table or right after. And we'll also share this afterwards, right? So it'll be with a broader audience. Uh, so let's go start, get started with uh, Dr. Audrey here, uh, who is getting ready to head out to Jamaica. Dr. Audrey, are you still there? Uh, 
Yes, I am. Thank you so much, Sanjay. Uh, hello, everyone. Happy to see you again. Um, I am the CEO, co-CEO of 420 Wellness Global, and in particular, talking about 420 Wellness Jamaica, which is where you go to reboot your health and wellness. So what we need is we are promoting our seven-day detox program, uh, taking reservations beginning June 14th. Yes, just a few weeks away. And you would have an opportunity to rejuvenate your body, your team, um, and uh, family members and all. So it's a family-friendly uh, destination, but aimed at restoring your well, your health, <laughs> so you can maintain your wealth. <laughs> That's great, and uh, I'll have a nice, fun trip. I, I talked to you a little bit earlier, and it sounds like you're going to have a great time there. And, and this, uh, the new initiative, you know, is kind of like exactly what the doctor ordered, as they say, the old saying, you know. So I think this is very well, well timed. <laughs> Yes, we've been uh, receiving a lot of interest and Dr. Oliver, who's a functional medicine physician, has been traveling around doing house calls, but it's no longer feasible for him to just jump around between London, Canada, Jamaica, you know, it's like we need some of the patients to start coming to one destination <laughs> and, 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 and allow it, uh, you know, more accessibility for the entire team to treat them. That's great. Well, good luck on that, uh, Dr. Audrey. Let's go to our business coach of the year, uh, Steve Smith. Still good. <laughs> hey, don't be don't be saying that, man. You set the bar too high. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's, it's, nice it's still ongoing, Steve. So yes, we are setting the bar high for you. You are setting the bar high. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, nice to see most of you. Um, Steve Smith. I am a business and executive coach. My company is Growth Source Coaching. Um, in the chat box earlier, I, somebody asked for a YouTube channel, so I threw mine in there. There's a ton of stuff on there. Uh, it's pretty interesting. So if you have a moment, go check it out. I think you'll find something you like. Uh, very simply, I am the catalyst that most people need to produce the change that's going to take them from where they're at to where they want to be. And change, as you guys probably know, is one of the hardest things that individuals can do. Most fail. Uh, most never attempt it because it's just it's 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 just overwhelming. Uh, but it's a lot easier if you have somebody helping you. And so whether it's growing a business, learning how to run a business, just learning how to be confident in a leadership role, you need to change something about what you're currently doing if you want to show up and have a better outcome. So that's what I do. So Sanjay, thanks for having these. I, I really appreciate it. Appreciate you, and uh, I hope you I hope you keep it going. Thank you, Coach Steve. I, I really appreciate you and your support and everything you do for the OC community here. So thank you. Yes. And let's go to Anil. I haven't seen him in, in a while on ongoing roundtable. Anil, welcome back. <laughs> hey, thanks, Sanjay. Yeah, thanks for setting this up. I definitely need help uh, yeah. on my company LinkedIn page, for sure. Um, really looking forward to this. Hey, um, my name is Anil. I'm, I'm, I run a IT solutions uh, and security company. We provide IT support, infrastructure, and security solutions for small, medium businesses. And we are 24 seven shop. Uh, we actively monitor all your hardware. So, you know, and your applications and not only monitoring, we make sure all of them are secure. And now more attacks are happening. Uh, so we are, prom we are add adding additional staff to our 24 seven security. Uh, so that's what we provide. And I'm also an executive director at Tyso Cal. We provide uh, mentorship, help uh, startups uh, fund their startups. So if you have any startups you're, you know, you're working on, apply at tysocalangels.com and we'll review it and you might get funded. Thank you. Great, thanks. Thanks for being here. I appreciate your camaraderie as well with Ty and how we help entrepreneurs there as well. That's great. And let's go to Arthur here. Arthur, how are you? I'll unmute myself. Thank you, Sanjay. It's been a long time since I've seen you. Yes. I've been in your organization for probably a decade. Um, 
So what, I'm an author. I've produced three books. My latest book was in concert with a life and uh, marriage and family therapist, Maureen Ake. Our focus is on you, basically. You know, a lot of people in business, they think about all the things that they need to do in business. You may talk about your marketing and your sales and your products and your services and customer service and profits. And maybe you have, uh, maybe you're a public company and you're worried about the members of the board, all of these different parts, right? But your greatest asset is you, it's your people. And for you to learn how to lead your people, not just manage people. So I like to look at when I come into a company about a lot of things because I've been in startups, I've owned companies, I've run companies, whether they're small, medium, even Fortune 500 companies. When you start to look at, again, your greatest asset, which is your employees, you start to look at how to treat them like a human being. It helps you, if you're the leader, to sleep better at night. I guarantee you, you'll have a happier home life and you'll be happier in your business. So basically what we're talking about is getting you to and your team to understand the dynamics of treating your employees with respect, with love, with compassion, with care, pay them a decent wage so they don't have to work two or three jobs. And the ROI on this, I could give it to you, but I want you to reach out to me to understand the ROI on this is amazing, where you will be more profitable by having your greatest asset, your employees, be the best that they can be and want to stay with you. Thank you, Arthur. That's a great introduction. And please uh, do include your contacts in the chat so folks can get in touch with you. Thank you. Good to see you again. Uh, Thank any, you so much. Any new books planned this year? or My latest book is the one with Maureen. It's really called Open Heart Surgery in 21 Weeks. Okay. And it's really a workbook for you to dive deep into figuring out not just who you are, yeah. where you came from, what you do, and uh, how to treat your life and other people. That's great. Thanks, Arthur. I appreciate you joining us today. Uh, let's go with, uh, we have another great coach here, Coach John Witt. Coach, go ahead, please. All right, got unmiked. And Sanjay, it's great to see you again. And uh, good to see other faces here that I'm familiar with. Um, so my name is John Witt, and I own, I'm the operator of Business Witt. We're a performance coaching and training organization for small businesses. And um, yes, yeah, some really interesting things happened to me through the pandemic. Number one, I left Southern California and moved up to Portland last July. Oh. And I spent really all of the summer and the fall traveling around the Northwest and uh, designing my practice to run on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays so I could explore the rest of the days of the week. And uh, one of the things that I did to help do that is I built an intern program. So I have uh, <clears throat> nine interns on my team right now. They're all students at uh, either UCI, UCR, or Chapman University. And I just got approved for an intern program at University of Oregon and Oregon State, because I thought you know, having somebody close to me up here in the Portland area would be, would be kind of cool. So um, you know, I've been working with small business owners for 10, 11 years now, helping them achieve higher degrees of performance, whether it's work rest balance or more money or whatever that happens. And, and it's amazing. When you work with a coach, you can really make amazing things happen fast. Uh, whether it's me or some of the other coaches that are here, I'm certain that's true for, for all of us. But um, this intern thing is what is really amazing, right? Because I have now the equivalent of two plus full-time employees that are education-based, right? They're not, this is not a paid program. Um, they work with me for six months at a time. We built a system that rotates them in. So, you know, we don't expect interns to last forever. Um, but we give them a lot of good uh, training. I help them with a strategic planning component for their careers. And they do a lot of the marketing activity and a bunch of other miscellaneous tasks for me. So um, I'm really looking to expand that opportunity for those interns. And so uh, really trying to develop some uh, next level opportunities for them. So they're interested in doing social media for other businesses. They're interested in uh, duplicating or replicating this intern program because it's a system, it's a process that we built, but it's very, very effective. We get five to seven uh, 
applicants a week. Um, and I, we can't even keep up with them sometimes. We're doing our best, but that's how we got to nine. Um, but so for anybody that's interested in, in um, you know, engaging the intern team, they certainly work for a lot less than a professional team. Uh, they're guided by me, they're trained by me, they, they understand what, what's involved with that. But really that's that's my model right now. So I, and I certainly would love to, uh, if anybody is interested in learning more about my coaching practice and what it does and, and how it works, I'm certainly open to that. But really that intern program is what I'm looking for first. How can I help them more, uh, more effectively? How can I move them to the next level? That's great, Coach Bert. Uh, congrats on the move to Oregon. I'm hoping you're enjoying there. It's hopefully different kind of weather there. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, it is. You know, last week was really uh, wonderful. I mean, it's super green. It's gorgeous. All the trees, blooming flowers. Um, last week was sunny and in the mid 70s. And then we're back to cloudy skies and we had, you know, massive hail on Wednesday. So, <laughs> so I thought we were done with the frozen bits, but I guess not. <laughs> good to see you sir uh, thanks Thank for joining you. us yes uh, let's go to bruce webb bruce go ahead please and let's keep it to a minute if you can yes <laughs> hi i'm bruce webb and um, i'm a connector after 20 years of marketing and 20 years in sales i've developed some really strong relationships which i like to introduce to your clients to help them save money a lot of it on a contingent basis i know cash is king i don't preserve cash i find it it's fine cash you're already spending money on on everyday expenses like fuel and utilities and things like that, and we can save that money. I've got a program that can give you a great digital marketing program for $600 a month, and I've got a unique loan that is a no personal guarantee, 3.5% interest rate loan that you might be interested in if you're doing any real estate development, construction, you're increasing your company faster and your bank wants to give the money, or you're making motion pictures. So that's what I do. That sounds like a great interest rate, 3.5 percent. Well, that's cool. Wow, yeah. so it's a great problem. Long -term. Thank you, Bruce, for joining us. Uh, Cliff, please, Cliff Wright, long time, sir. Good to see you. <laughs> yes, it has been a long time. Thank you, uh, Sanjay, for inviting me. I saw the reminder. I put it on my calendar, and I said this would be a, a great opportunity for me to reconnect with you and 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 your network. Um, I'm representing the company that I work for as an organization, a nonprofit organization. It's a historic um, boarding school down in Jackson, Mississippi, or near Jackson, Mississippi, a small town called Piney Woods, Mississippi. They're 112 years old. And my responsibility is to get donations, sponsorships, and grants for the organization. Um, we um, provide um, the education to students that typically their parents wouldn't be able to afford to send them to a boarding school. And uh, this uh, semester, 100% of our students got uh, scholarships to colleges. And average on an average, it's been about 96 to 98% of the seniors get scholarships to go on to college and it's a work-based program. We teach them agriculture. Uh, we have over 2,000 acres. We have a farm. Uh, we have uh, cattle. Uh, they they uh, sell the vegetables to the restaurants and grocery stores and, and the meat and the beef and everything. And uh, we also uh, teach them about uh, architecture. They make bricks and they've actually used those bricks in uh, developing um, housing for the staff as well as students. And so it costs us about thirty-five dollars to $40,000 a year for each student, but it's, a, it's really uh, wonderful. Uh, some of you may remember me from Vitalink when I was there up until uh, July of last year. And so this is a, a wonderful uh, thing that I've been able to get involved in. We uh, partner with churches as well as the business community. So I'm looking for two things. Uh, one, uh, obviously dollars. And also uh, we're going to be producing a podcast. Uh, we have a radio station on the campus um, and we just did a uh, virtual gospel concert that we uh, broadcast stream live on LinkedIn and YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. 
So now we're going to be doing the same concept uh, with business leaders. Uh, so I'd love to see if some of you can come on and be interviewed by the students and we'll stream it live uh, to your network as well as uh, LinkedIn. And uh, hopefully you'll get some benefit, but basically sharing with these students, you know, career opportunities and how you've uh, been successful in your co career pursuit. So, and that's, that's the objective of the podcast. So I did put my information there um, and uh, so hopefully, uh, some of you can connect with me. Thank you. Thank you, Cliff. And yes, uh, just like Cliff has, make sure everybody is also sharing their contacts in the chat. I think this is a great way for you to connect and network, uh, you know, during and after the roundtable. And feel free to, you know, uh, save the chat as well. I, I believe there's an option to do it. And if you're not able to save it, then just shoot me an email. I'll be happy to send you the chat after the roundtable. So let's do a quick poll again uh, before you know uh, we get to the next uh, folks here, and and have them uh, uh, share what's going on. Uh, let's do LinkedIn poll. Yeah, simple. This is just to to make sure we are staying on content here. Do you have a LinkedIn company page? This is not your personal page, right? So let's be. There's a difference between the company page and your professional page, uh, which is normally most. How, how we all join LinkedIn with. And this is just a quick poll. Do you have a LinkedIn company page? Uh, giving you all five more seconds to respond. Uh, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, let's go and the poll and share the results. There you go. Do you have a LinkedIn company page? Uh, yes, 11 folks say 61%. No is 39. So still, a few of you are, are looking at doing that, and that's definitely what we're gonna be looking at today. So what I wanna do is, uh, and thanks for sharing your, your results on the poll. Uh, I wanna do a quick, uh, uh, let's keep it to one minute or less folks, uh, so we can get to the main topic. Uh, I know it's not fair sometimes, but let's see if we can do that. Let's go with Hark Wasa, who is normally always on point. Go ahead, Hark, please. <laughs> Okay, very quickly, uh, I'm Hark Vasa. We, our company is Popmite, and we make everyone smile better with our teeth fighting products. Yeah. And uh, we are excited that uh, we had a trial with uh, one uh, beauty salon, which started selling our product, and their profit doubled uh, after they started selling our product. So now we are on a major marketing campaign to sign up uh, 50 more beauty salons and, and health spas over the next three months to sell our products. And if we are successful in doing that, I think we will uh, immediately become more than a million dollar run rate uh, very quickly when that happens. So we are excited about that right now. Well, that's fantastic, Hark. And uh, I think we should talk about a few other beauty salons that we could potentially target here locally in OC. So we, we can talk after the round table. Yeah. Arthur, how are you? I'm sorry, Richard. Richard, go ahead, please. I will talk to Arthur. Yes. Richard Toro, long time, sir. <laughs> It has been a while, Sanjay. How are you? Good, good. Good to see you, sir. <laughs> good to see you. Yeah, my, my, my company gives cash to businesses. Uh, what, we, what we do is we identify and we recover research and development credits that clients, that companies are um, uh, entitled to, but don't even know exist out there. I see Manish uh, Bahardia, one of my good friends, is uh, was on the meeting with us. Uh, Manish is the uh, president of the local chapter of um, Microsoft Channel Partners Association. And we are endorsed by the uh, Microsoft Channel Partners on a national basis. Um, for six months or so, we uh, recovered $720,888 for, uh, for the Channel Partners and their, uh, and their clients. So it's extremely broad. Um, uh, I was interested, honestly, the reason of, of coining is because of LinkedIn. I'm uh, interested in uh, learning as much as I can about that aspect and continuing to market as we have. So look forward to working with you guys. Thanks, Sanjay, for putting all this together. Thank you, good to see you again. So let's go with uh, Liana. Liana, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. So uh, I'm Liana Levine. I'm the CEO of a company called A-Line. We do uh, engineering services and contract manufacturing for point of care medical diagnostics. So we've been working with 
uh, customers that want to develop new COVID tests, uh, maybe some COVID and flu combo tests, and a variety of other uh, solutions for infectious disease testing to, to do either at the home or at the doctor's office. So, and I've been working with Sanjay and, and we do have a LinkedIn company page, which just achieved 400 uh, members. So that's a milestone. And I, I just need to learn more about how we can leverage that and grow it some more. So thanks Sanjay for all the stuff you've been doing to help our company so far. Thank you, Leon. I appreciate the feedback. Uh, yeah, we, if, if, if you wouldn't mind, we'll probably share your page on the roundtable later on, if you're okay with that, and, and, and kind of show how members are, are growing there. Uh, uh, yes, uh, Doug, how are you, Doug? Doug Toby, yes. <laughs> yeah, fine, Sanjay. How are you, sir? It's been a Good while. Yes, yeah, it's been a while, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, my background is financial. I'm actually a CPA, uh, and I teach college-level uh, finance, innovation, and entrepreneurship. Uh, so my practice is basically two parts. Uh, one is tax during tax season. And then the other uh, is working with startups and emerging growth companies to help them perfect their value proposition, their business model, their team, help them get funded. And so my interest today is how to use LinkedIn uh, and whether to combine those or keep those two as separate activities. That's a good point. Yeah. Thanks, Doug, for joining us. I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Look forward Rich, to it. Rich, go ahead, please. Rich Kozak, yes. Long time as well. <laughs> Rich, go ahead, please. You can use this. Uh, please. Sorry. Hi, Sanjay. Uh, we, we connected um, through TIE, I remember, and it's been yes. a while since I've been here. So. Thanks for hosting me. So I decided to jump on today because I saw the LinkedIn company page. We don't have one. I just have a personal one. Um, I've been a branding consultant for 44 years and I've worked with a lot of big companies. My largest client was $14 billion, but I don't work with big companies anymore. I work with individuals and I work with individuals only with individuals who want to impact others' lives in some positive way or the world that they touch. So if their work or their gift or their product or their service or something is going to make people's lives better and that's what focus they have and that's they're focused on the impact, um, I help people define in language brands so they come alive, they create language that transfers energy. And uh, I've been doing it a long time and it, it's a bit of a gift, <clears throat> but um, I'm about to, to launch uh, my book, um, impact driven branding seven steps to ensure your brand impacts mm -hmm. people's lives in the world. And I'm on my 45th workshop and I host internet, uh, events and, um, I'm about to go out in front of the curtain in a big way so I can touch a lot more people. So, um, Sorry. using, uh, using LinkedIn in a bigger way is on my list. So that's why I'm here. That's great. Uh, look forward to your your new, uh, you know, publication. That'll be awesome. As a marketer, I love. It when will I be. It's it, it's people find it's it's a blessing, yeah. to their business, but also their life because they they use branding to build a platform for their business. But we don't really stop there. There, our businesses are not why we're here, and so if we use that platform to step into our purpose then it's more of a God blessing. So that's, that's why I'm back in branding. I kind of quit a few years ago, but I'm back. <laughs> it's serious. It's serious. And it feels like love, not work this time. So it's a good thing. There you go. You look, you look awesome. And yeah, it looks like you're driven by a mission, which is awesome. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's a blessing. Yes, sir. Pankaj Dayal, please. Pankaj is another missionary here in some sense. Just kidding. <laughs> Good afternoon, all. Pankaj Dayal. My firm is PNR Financial Services, and I'm in a very specific area of the financial services business, which is retirement plans. So I work with business owners to guide them on all aspects. There are three parts to it plan design, implementation, and ongoing monitoring. And that's what I help the business owners with. Once they have a plan in place, the next step is to work with the employees because you could have the best plan in place, but if the employees are not engaged, it, it may not work. Being that I'm a fee-only advisor, I'm only obligated to the client. 
and I can work with just about any investment company, insurance company, payroll providers that are out there. And what my ask is, is I would like to work with business owners in helping them if they already have a plan to help them evaluate what they have, look at what the options are and how competitive their plan is compared to today's market conditions. And if you do not have a plan, how to go about setting one up. You don't have to engage me as long as at least we have an educational conversation. Pankadal, PNR Financial. Thank you. Thank you, folks. Uh, we'll go to Nikita next, and then I'll take another poll, and then uh, we, you know we'll go after that. But go ahead, Nikita. Good to see you. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Sanjay. Um, it's glad, uh, definitely wonderful to see everyone. I know Steve and I spoke briefly about joining today together, yeah. um, although we're both in Lake Forest and our paths have been crossing. I'm Nikita Ganatra. I am the owner of Kumon Math and Reading Center in Foothill Ranch. I own the franchise and this is my ninth year um, working through it, build it from grounds up. And we are looking to really expand our reach as best as we can to meet the needs of students within our community of Lake Forest, which if we look at the kindergarten readiness data, we're certainly seeing that there are pockets of needs in Lake Forest, as well as Irvine, um, Aliso Viejo, Mission Viejo, et cetera. Um, oftentimes our students are really just going through the motions of going through preschool and then straight into kindergarten. And onwards we go without really taking a look at whether or not they're learning. Um, so what we've been really successful at is giving them a leg up in learning how to read and do it in more of a concise manner. So they're really learning at an earlier age, which then opens up the world to them as we make them into readers lifetime. Um, with our math program, certainly we're starting as young as three as well as reading. And so today I'm just here to learn a little bit more about how to use the LinkedIn company page. Certainly it's not been on my mind. Um, as a uh, sole proprietor, as you can imagine, we all wear multiple hats and um, I'm just mm -hmm. learning new things every single day. And so I'm excited to certainly learn from a lot of you um, with things that you've shared. And uh, Steve's taught me a lot and we've done Facebook Lives together for the chamber um, this pandemic year, which was a new learning ex as well. So thank you for having me and I look forward to learning from you guys. Thank you, Nikita. Good to see you. I'm, I'm glad you guys have done well through this last year and and this year, and, and hopefully fall should be a whole new year, I hope. you know. <laughs> we were able to pivot in the pandemic using technology to continue our, our services, and we ended up presenting for um, one of the local education associations as well on how we did that. So, um, well, you know, we've certainly seen a good silver lining um, through it all. That's great. That's great. So let me take another poll and, and I'm, we have a few more participants after that and then we'll jump into the main topic as uh, as we have talked about. Uh, oops, the poll was still being shared. I pretty, apologize for that. Uh, here is uh, the next poll, which is now actually getting into our main topic. And what is what do you primarily use LinkedIn for? So the key word is primary. Uh, and I know we use it for many things here, but... Uh, I, I give everybody an escape at the end as well. <laughs> if you wanted to choose more than one, but I would like to see the primary part if you can. <laughs> so again, uh, let's get some responses going. I'll share the answers quickly uh, so we can all see the results. So what do you primarily use LinkedIn for? Make new connections, find new talent, acquire new customers, share business content, and all of the above. So there you go. I'm going to go and end the poll and share the results. And uh, yeah, a lot of us join LinkedIn with that singular goal in mind, which is to to find and make new connection. And I still, I think, I still feel that's the primary motive or motivation for a lot of us. And I, I think that's that's what the platform is recognized for. But more and more, it's changed over the years, uh, and and we'll talk about that, especially how it helps you with your companies as well. And 
And now more folks are sharing their social media content, which is, I would say, business media content on LinkedIn now. And, uh, you know, I, overall, it's all of the above is, you know, it's good to see some folks are doing everything here, which is awesome. Uh, and uh, I know a lot of us use LinkedIn for finding new talent as well. I mean, to me, that's, uh, if, even if it's not finding, it's verifying somebody new that you want them to be part of your team. You know, I think most everybody will go to the LinkedIn now to check if they have a profile and what it's all about. So again, thanks for sharing your responses here. And uh, now I want to do the next five on this round table and then we'll quickly go into the LinkedIn topic as everybody's here for. Let's go with uh, Tammy here. Tammy, go ahead, please. Uh, Tammy, are you able to? I am. Oh, there you go, Tammy. Yeah. And you know what? Uh, as luck would have it, the gardener literally just pulled up. So I'm um, glad <laughs> we're doing it. I am. Um, I'm at home because I had a back procedure. So I'm not at my office. I'm just kind of a little slack today. Um, in uh, the spirit of trying to stay under a minute, I'm actually going to time it. So I'm a professional oh, wow. speaker. Let's <laughs> see. That's what we should always do. I'm a professional speaker and I've traveled all around on cruise ships doing it. And so because it was a cruise ships and it was the senior demographic, my life stopped at COVID. So I pivoted and I created a membership program, which we're about to launch in the next week. And it's going to have resources. Um, and I'm putting it in the chat now with everything from educational and financial, um, anything to do with COVID resources, where to get vaccinations, but basically it's how to get back on track, um, how to find even free connectivity for Wi-Fi, free laptops, vets, first responders. So what I need from you guys is info. I need you to send me resources. That's what I need. And I too am the, um, intern girl. I always get them from Chapman and I have four great interns this summer. One minute. Oh, wow. Um, and what I'm going to ask you a question though, because you were so nice and within your time. So what do you like to speak on? Or what are your topics of interest? So I'm the, thank you for that. I'm the tech safety girl. So in my, in traveling, I'm an Apple girl. So I would teach people all about iPhones, how to stay safe on the internet, um, that type of thing, what to do to stay safe. So now the pandemic has made my life just, I mean, I have to just pick and choose. There's so much business. I don't know what to do because there's so much coming at me. Um, where I will stay on topic with LinkedIn and give some advice is what I had my interns do already. We've already built a huge catalog of prospects of groups. So yep. Now we're about to reach out to senior groups. So there's a lot of groups that work just with the senior demographic. And then yeah. I can go and show them that I have these resources so that they can get some help. That I mean, You can even get like free hearing aid uh, batteries for vets, free socks. There's so much free stuff. It's insane, right? Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't have to be paying for much right now, basically. Anybody. Doesn't matter of your, your, uh, your income. There's just, it's out there sitting in accounts and waiting for people to use it. That's Grant awesome. money from Homeland Security. There's just billions of dollars sitting out there. Good points, Tammy. I'm going to see if we can find a topic of interest to share in the next round table or two. So I appreciate you joining today. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, for sure. Thank Manish, you. Go ahead. Yes, thanks, Tammy. Manish Bardia. Manish, go ahead, please, if you're online. Yes, sure. Um, Sanjay, good to see you. Thanks for the session. Of course, uh, we do business uh, on uh, software development. So anything on mobile or web, Microsoft technology. So that's it. I'm here for to learn. And as uh, Richard mentioned, I'm the president at uh, IMCP also. So anything Microsoft channel partner related, definitely reach out to us. I'll put my contact info and LinkedIn. So would be happy to connect with everybody. Yeah, happy Friday. Thank you. Thank you, Manish, for joining as well. Uh, good to see you. And uh, let's go to Flo here. Flo with Flo Fitness. Flo, are you there? Good afternoon. I believe we connected through Desiree Dubois. Yes. Um, yes. yes. Long time. So, um, How are you I, <laughs> good. Thank you. Um, good to be here. Um, I'm Flo Elkins. I am based in Los Angeles, California. I am a fitness trainer and wellness coach. I work with female rowers yeah. and uh, female entrepreneurs looking to get into shape, help them create a 
workout plan that works around their busy schedule, as well as transitioning into vegan eating. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Uh, and you said female, you, what was the first word you said? Rowers. rowers. Row, I, I, that's what yes. I thought I heard. Rowers. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Very interesting. I have, were you a professional rower yourself or? I am a rower. Yes. So I work with okay. women around the world. Yeah. That's great, Flo. Thanks for joining. And please do include your contacts in the chat so folks can get back to you. And I'm, I'm sure we'll spread the word for you as well. Thank you. Thank you. We'll do that. Susie again. Susie, how are you? Susie, you on? Susie Chow? Yes, I'm here. Good, Susie. Susie. <laughs> personal IT support. We help businesses and solo entrepreneurs to choose the right IT technology. We do not believe in cookie cutters. We keep the technology health of our client, help with their business security compliances, and identify their security risk and be prepared for disaster. We specialize in troubleshooting businesses' IT issues, take care or take out the emergencies. I'm looking forward to get to know everyone, your business, connect with you at LinkedIn and learn from you. Thank you. Thank you, Susie. Good to see you again. Uh, I think your video was on earlier. It's off right now, but, but we did see you. So thank you, yes. Janelle, Janelle, go ahead, please. Janelle Perez, are you still around? Janelle? Janelle is in listen only mode. Okay. Well, let's get started. Uh, we're here for LinkedIn. And Janelle, if you are back online, just jump in, please, anytime. Um, let me go ahead and share a quick slide here before we jump into it as context. Everybody is seeing this? Yeah. That's good. So we went through most of this. I think this is very true, you know, LinkedIn, online, face-to-face, -face, you know, networking is not about just collecting contacts. It's really about forming relationships. And, uh, you know, I, I think uh, relationships, as we all know, takes time, right? And I think everybody is in a super, I would say, uh, super fast, uh, you know, mode right now where we all want to, shrink the time it takes to build warm relationships and convert them into you know business and, and let's not do that let's let's find ways to to you know make some real relationships online and offline now unless of course you are into this you know some people play golf some people play racquetball but you know this is another way to build your relationships you know in, in, a, in a ball pit no i'm just kidding this is a fun cartoon uh, I guess there are always new ways of networking, aren't there? <laughs> uh, quick uh, uh, background on ongoing. We are like a LinkedIn, but we are made for businesses. So we are LinkedIn for small businesses. We have our own growing community, and I'll share uh, with you ongoing business community and our members. Uh, we have 100,000 small, growing, and diverse businesses. Uh, and the main reason to join ongoing is if you're a small business, if you want that extra boost online, if you want to grow your brand, if you want to make connection with other small business owners and, uh, you know, professionals, and while doing that, you, know, you want to boost your social media as well as SEO. It's a good place to go online on ongoing and share your stories and connect to other businesses. It just takes five minutes to build your profile and start sharing. It's as easy as a sharing content on Facebook or Twitter, you know. So uh, we already went to the round table. And now let's get into the LinkedIn part and, and why LinkedIn matters as, as a business. And I'm going to uh, share uh, my browser here. Uh, so, you know, see if you can all see this. Uh, and there we go. So thank you, Coach Steve, for being one of the most active members of Ogoing. I'll start with his Ogoing profile <laughs> as a way of introducing him. And he has been very active. Uh, this is how his Ogoing profile looks, by the way. Uh, once uh, once you have an active profile, you know, it's it's kind of like, uh, you know, Instagram with all the photos, as well as the ability to see all the content as, as is being shared. And uh, as you can see, the more content Coach Steve shares, the more visibility he builds for his business leadership coaching, as well as, uh, you know, his, uh, you know, community on ongoing. 
And the best thing is all this content has the contact information right there, including his Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. And, and once you start sharing, it just builds it out for himself and his business. And you can follow him. You can message him right here. You can recommend as well as share. Uh, the reason I wanted to do this, I wanted to give you some context of our ongoing profile. And now let's go into uh, the ongoing profile on LinkedIn. So this is how the LinkedIn profile looks uh, as an administrator looking in. If I'm a LinkedIn member, this is how the ongoing profile looks on LinkedIn. So this is all going on LinkedIn. So this is us. Uh, so if somebody were to inquire what is all going on LinkedIn, they would go to this profile, which is our business profile. It's a company profile. And it, it, it will tell them what is all going about. So we are the nation leading business community, et cetera. It, it allows you to, it provides you a place of your website, your phone number, uh, your industry, where it's headquartered, specialties and so on. And again, all this information comes from you, the business owner. So the idea is how do you do all this? You know, and, and you can look at all the posts or going the business is sharing on LinkedIn. So you can see we're pretty active on LinkedIn. We share a few posts every single day. Uh, and, and, and by being active, we are able to attract a lot more following on LinkedIn. Uh, we can also post jobs. So we have not done uh, recently, but now LinkedIn allows you to post a free job. So if you're looking for talent, if you're hiring, you can actually post a free job uh, through your LinkedIn page. And, and believe me, it does get traction. Once you post a free job, you are able to uh, you know, get uh, qualified people to look at you. It shows the people uh, who are part of the company that's something new. So it shows all the employees of the business who are going. So if you are a company with a lot of employees, all your employees uh, can be found here, uh, you know, and, and you can search, you know, who they are and so on. Uh, it gives you insight, but I'm going to show you the insights from the inside look and the event. So if Ogoing is hosting events, for example, we have hosted events in the past, uh, you can see like we had the event doing business with Disney and we posted it on LinkedIn. So not only you can post your events on Eventbrite and Facebook and elsewhere, now LinkedIn provides you a platform to post your events on your page. And whatever events you post, they, they all show up here. And you can see that when we posted the event, what it was about and who were the attendees uh, for these events. Uh, you know, all these attendees who decided to attend. And once an attendee decides that they're going to attend the event, you can message them. Uh, directly from within LinkedIn, and you can look at analytics as well. So this is this is the view of how somebody on LinkedIn will look at Ogoing. But let me show you how, uh, if you are building your page, how it's going to look for you. Uh, so you, you're here, and you can say, okay, I'm going to go edit the page quickly and see how I can add information. So that description you saw earlier in the about, it comes from here. So when you go to your page here, now, even before you do any of this, you have not created a page at all. Uh, you go under your, your image on LinkedIn after you log in on your desktop, click where it says me, and under the me, it will show you, uh, you know, different company pages, which we manage. But, you know, you can also go here and create your own company page. So, you know, if you have not done that, I would say you do that first. And then after you have created, then you can come in and edit the page. So now if you're under editing, you can set up your descriptions. You can set up your link, the website link, your industry, the size of your business, you know, whether you're public or private, uh, you know, your phone number, when you were founded and all your specialties. So again, uh, this is very simple. This will take you like five to 10 minutes to do all this right. And then uh, the other thing is uh, the buttons are important. So you want to make sure your call to action button. So when a member on LinkedIn, they go to your page, what do you want them to do? Do you want them to visit your website? Do you want them to sign up for something? Do you want them to register, contact us or learn more? So again, you can pick what button you want. And based on whatever button you pick, they will see that when they go to your page. And that button, you can say where it links to. 
So again, uh, make sure you, you do that. And also locations is important to make sure you have your location, especially if you're a local business. So that way you get the visibility under the location search on LinkedIn as well. Hashtags are, you know, things that are, you know, relevant to your business. So what are some hashtags? Oh, going likes, you know, our hashtag that we like are business tips, you know, small business or business to business marketplace. Again, if you don't like that, you can always add new hashtag. You can add up to three. So if, let's say, if I didn't like the B2B marketplace, I can add a new hashtag here, uh, just oh, going hashtag, because, you know, we want to make our own brand, uh, you know, more popular on LinkedIn, and I can just save that. And now I have my three new hashtags, with oh, going as a hashtag. You can also feature your groups. So if you are part of your groups or if you have built your groups, on LinkedIn, and uh, and we heard about the groups earlier. Uh, you can actually feature your group as part of your company page as well. So now that you've done all this, your page becomes active. But don't forget the the cover image, which is this here. Uh, you know, this is the cover image as well as uh, your logo image, which goes here. So again, these are the things uh, you know, which is what. Uh, the members will see, uh, you know, uh, so you want to make sure the look and feel is amazing. And this is your tagline, which you also need to add. Again, under the edit page, you can add your tagline as well. Uh, so if you go under the page info, uh, this is where your tagline is. And make sure you do that. The tagline is is the most important because this is how you want to be found on LinkedIn as well as online. So whatever you say here is, is uh, you know, you want to make sure it, uh, it it is searchable so that if people are searching for B2B community or let's say small business community and things like that, uh, you want your business to be found. So that's where the tagline, you know, makes sense. Now, once, uh, once you have done all the setup, then the magic happens, right? So now... You've done the setup, you can start sharing your content. So this is where your business content goes in and, and you share it and it will be shown not only on your page here, but the content that you share, like, uh, like we share a lot of spotlights for our members on ongoing. So for example, this is the content we share saying get connected uh, with Promo King. You know, they are a promotional products company here in Orange County. And uh, this is a spotlight for them. They're a small business. And not only this is visible on our company page, but it's also visible to all our followers. So as Liana talked earlier about A-Line and having, uh, they have 400 followers now. Oh, going as, you know, slightly more than 620. And I can see who my followers are, uh, you know, as and, and I can also see when they started following me. So here are all the, the followers of Ogoing as we are seeing them over different months. And, you know, you want to, of course, grow your followers. You, the more followers you have, the more visibility you're building for Ogoing on LinkedIn, you know, as well as in front of your own LinkedIn contacts. So again, uh, how do we grow the followers? It's very easy. LinkedIn allows you to invite your connection, so whoever is connected to you uh, to follow your LinkedIn page. So you click on invite more connections here and, and you can say, oh, let me invite, uh, he's my son here. Let me invite him to follow the Oakwing page. I could do that. And, and whoever you want to invite, you just you just click on that, check the name and, and just say invite. And now, this person will be invited to follow the page. Now, invitation doesn't mean they will follow, but it, it, it at least sends them a notification uh, that Sanjay has asked you to follow the ongoing page. So again, that's how you build your following. Now, once you have built your following and, and you, you have activity, you're sharing good content, including videos, you can share video content uh, right here. You can share a video, you can share a poll, you can even write an article, right? So as you're sharing all this, uh, you know, folks will start engaging with your content and they will start looking at your content. And uh, you can look at all that under analytics. So analytics is what gives you, uh, 
you know, all the things which is happening on your page. And you can see activity, for instance, on, on what are the different activities happening, you know, uh, who is commenting, who is not, who is mentioning it, who is, who is sharing. You can look at all, everybody who is sharing your, your content. Uh, Pankaj, thanks for sharing your post. Uh, you know, earlier Jeffrey shared. So again, you can see who all is sharing your post. Pop White shared uh, our update some time ago. So thank you. Uh, and you can also look at analytics based on who are the visitors. Uh, you know, for instance, we can see that over the last 30 days, we had 94 views of our company page. And we had 52 unique visitors. And here is what the visitors are doing. Uh, some nice charts here, you know, including page views. Uh, where is the traffic coming from? Desktop, mobile, or, or I can say, let me just check only mobile visitors. How many mo mobile visitors are coming from the smartphones, uh, you know, and so on. I can also look at the job function. Who are the people coming for the last, you know, 10, 15 days? If I want more data, I can actually say last six months data. And I can see that most of our visitors are coming from business development and sales, you know, and that's uh, and marketing. So the top three are, are this. And now that I have that data, I can say, you know what, that's what I need to do. I, I need to do more marketing of Ogoi in front of, you know, this three audiences. So that's kind of the high level view of how the page works. Any questions on that before I, I show you a couple of tips and tricks here? Let me go back to the Zoom meeting. I know there's a lot of content I shared quickly, but does it make sense and does anyone have any questions? Okay. So far so good. So, so quick, quick question on this. Um, sure. LinkedIn <laughs> yet is another place. Um, to create more content. Yeah. And it seems like the internet is flooded with content. There are lots and lots of connections being made. Um, how do you, and perhaps this is coming yet, um, how, how do you take the information here? How is LinkedIn company page different in terms of the customers that you're really reaching versus, you know, from a connection and relationship standpoint, the ones that you may be reaching on other social media platforms? That's a great question. So you're right. I mean, the page can only do so much, you know, based on who is who is going to be presented to. <laughs> so who, who are seeing the content on your page? And I think that's the main question here. So there are two aspects. One is when you create the LinkedIn page and, and even the ongoing page, as I showed you, of uh, Coach Steve, you know, the leadership coach. The, the very fact that you have a page online on the internet that's already being recognized by Google, Bing, you know, Yahoo, and all the search engines. So when somebody searches for Ogoing, uh, you know, Google is going to present them Ogoing the website, but also they're going to present them the Ogoing on LinkedIn page or Coach Steve Smith's, you know, page on LinkedIn or A-Line's page on LinkedIn as well as Ogoing or as you see, they could have a page on Facebook that gets presented mm -hmm. as well. Uh, so all that, more places you are on, the more visibility you get on the search engines, number one. So that, that gives you, I would call it a search engine boost or what in the language of SEO, we say that gives you some SEO boost. Now, beyond that, the content that you share and, and, and as you are sharing more content, you want people to see that. You know, If they're not seeing it, then it's, it's kind of like an empty storefront Mm -hmm. where, you're just, where you're just talking a lot, but nobody's even responding to you. Right. So in order to build your audience, now LinkedIn doesn't give you the audience automatically. So you have to build that audience. And there are two ways to build it, right? One is, as I showed you, invite your connection. So you look at your own personal connections on LinkedIn, your professional connections, which many of us may have, you know, from a few hundred all the way to, I have over 8,000 connections. So, so for me, Indulging some of my connections to go follow my LinkedIn page is, is not a big problem. I have to actually have a reverse problem on who I should be contacting and not contacting because I have too many of them, right? Uh, not, in, not in a bad sense, in a good sense. Uh, so, but once I invite them, not everybody will connect. Only a few will want to because 
they're also cautious as to how many pages they want to follow because the more pages a professional connection follows, the more content they have to absorb when they are on LinkedIn. So there is that question as well. So I think you have to be articulate. You only want to share your LinkedIn page in front of the context that you believe they will do business with you at the end of the day. So in your, in your instance, you are at Kumon. So obviously you're looking at maybe professionals who have kids, but you don't know if they have kids or not. So that's the problem, right? Because nobody says that on LinkedIn, I have kids you know, of, of age who will want to go to Kumon. So you have to be still saying, okay, Lake Forest is where I am. Maybe I will go and find professionals in Lake Forest area on LinkedIn. Because LinkedIn allows you to search them. And then some of them are, I'm already connected to, but the ones who are not to, I'll connect with them and then have them follow me or follow my page on LinkedIn. It's a two-step process, but that's kind of what I would probably do in your case. Or if you're looking to build your partners or, or you know, uh, your partner system, like, you know, the ones who can help you grow your business, you know, be it service providers, be it, uh, you know, influencers, uh, you know, be it, you know, folks like me who have, a huge following, uh, not boasting here, but but you know uh, partners who can then help you. Maybe those are the partners you want to invite as well. And and I think then once you build your following, then you share the right content. Then they will be interested in engaging with the, with your content. But it it does take some work. You know, it's not as simple as okay, I build the page and and now everybody is going to flood to my page and suddenly I'll be. <laughs> I'll be going home happy. I, I wish it's that simple as that. <laughs> okay. I okay. hope that I answered your question. <laughs> it did. It did. And I think it provided a couple of additional insights as well. So thank you. Yes. Sanjay, would it be okay if I explained one thing about LinkedIn that may help people? Absolutely. Go ahead, Tammy. Yes. Okay. So, because the basic thing about LinkedIn that, can you see me, that you may not know is Remember that movie with Kevin Bacon, um, Seven Degrees of Separation or whatever that was, right? Yes, so yes. that's the premise of LinkedIn. And before Microsoft bought it, it was really hard to get connected to people. Now it's it's unbelievable. Yeah. So what you want to do is, I have the opposite opinion of what Sanjay just said. I feel you should connect to as many people as you can, because that's how you get the word out. And then that's how you are allowed to get connected to other people. So if you go to see someone that you want to connect with and you see a three there, it means they are three levels removed and you're not going to be able to connect to them. You're not going to be able to send them an email, nothing, uh, what they call an in-mail, unless you spend 80 bucks a month for that, that ability to do so. So you want to have someone between that person and you. And if they're connected, then they can introduce you. So I would tell everybody to connect to me because the max is 30,000 connections. And I think I'm at 29,000. Yeah, so, so I think what, what Tammy said is she's, she has built her own personal connection on LinkedIn, her professional connections. And so you got to still keep doing that. The company page is the next step up because you want to build your company brand. And I think the best part is once you have the page, and once you become active on that, that's how you build the brand. So let me show you a couple of more things, which are very interesting. So one of the other things LinkedIn has recently added is the ability to share your products. Now, uh, not every company is a product company. If you're a service, you can still call your service a product and, and, and showcase that. And so for instance, we just added a product today actually, and, and it's under review. So LinkedIn has not yet uh, approved it because there has to be it has to go through their approval cycle. But here is a product that we have added called All Going Pro, which is social media management and marketing. And this is what it's about. This is the link to my product. Who is it intended for? I can add my product videos and screenshots here. And who are some of the featured customers? And and I can even create a hashtag. So this is something brand new. LinkedIn has just experimented with it. They're, they're starting to to see if people will start using the platform to share more of their products. Now, the other one other thing they also have on the company page, two other things. One is you can, uh, I talked briefly about it, you can do events. So you can create your own event through your company page, uh, you know, and, and now you can uh, share whatever the event is about. Like today's event could have been published here, 
uh, which I've done in the past. And you can now even use a LinkedIn registration form. So that way uh, you know that uh, the folks who are RSVPing, they're, they're really coming, you know, and not just saying yay and, and forgetting about it. So that, that adds more value. And, and now you can track, you know, the registration and all that here. And, and the one other thing which is important is uh, within the LinkedIn page, we also have a showcase page. So you can create showcases within LinkedIn company pages and you can create your showcase pages and, and, and look at them. And I, let me show you, let me see if I can show you one of my showcase pages here. Right, so this is a page within my company page. This is called Ogoing Social Media Services. So this is, this is a page inside my company page, which again gets its own visibility, which is amazing. So now it's like a, a mini page, if you may, <laughs> inside the company page, and you can share content for the showcase page. And, and you can also now track visitors and followers and all that, and I can invite connections to the showcase page, which is separate from my main company page. So if you, as you grow your company profile and as you are growing your brand, you can do some of this as well and, and you can really get busy with this. Uh, as I told earlier, I'm gonna show you one more company page, which is A-Line, who we have been managing on LinkedIn. And let me quickly show you their company page. And when, after we started managing them, you know, they, they, they were in the, 50 something followers, now they're over 400 in, in about three months or so. So we gained a lot of followers from them. And, uh, and look at how many impressions they get on all the content. So all the content we share, it gets uh, over 28,000 impressions uh, you know, in the last so many days. So uh, they're, they're very growing page. They get a lot, of, a lot of video content. They get a lot of views on the videos. So what happens is when we share video, folks really look at the videos on the company page and, and interact with that. So again, uh, that's the thing, you know, if you, if you can share some videos, even if it's 10 seconds to, to a minute on your company page, it, it gets you a lot of visibility. So let me stop here on LinkedIn. Uh, I wanted to give you a quick overview of how it's useful. I already showed you the ongoing side of pages. So this is the ongoing page on ongoing. Uh, you know, and, and, and as you can see, our page is much simpler. You know, it, it tells you what it's about. Uh, you know, it, it gives you a link to the website. It tells you what category we belong to. It also has our own links to Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So from our page, you can go to any of this communities directly. One of the key differences, we have reviews on ongoing, and we also have the ability to share who your references are. Uh, you know, your business references, as well as who you've done business with. So we, we have some extra things we do. And we also have the concept of tabs here called video tab, product tab, tips, events, uh, stories, and services. So again, we, we have the tabs which, which get populated as, as you are sharing content relevant, uh, you know, for your businesses, you know, on your tabs. So again, uh, this is all, get, all gets done for you directly on ongoing. So if you're a small business, I would definitely recommend creating your ongoing profile and start sharing content so that you also get visibility on our growing community, which has over 100,000 members now. So let me go and stop the sharing now and, and see if we have some more thoughts on this. Yeah, go ahead. I, I went a little bit over the time, but uh, let me know if you have any more questions. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize there was so much functionality back there. So, <laughs> yeah, it's. I think what happens is, as product managers go, Liana, you you and I are product people, right? So once we create a product, and, and you have it out in front of you know your your target audience, you want to keep adding things to it, based on you know what you what the feedback you get and and so on. So frankly, for a small business. Maybe doing everything that a LinkedIn offers could be an overkill, but but I'm not saying that, right? I think as a business grows its brand, as it as it grows it grows its following, I, I feel it's all fair game to to leverage it in as much as 
you are able to capitalize on it, right? The key is you got to be able to figure out how to gain, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you're trying to gain some new business. And can you do that? And now, if you want to do advertising on LinkedIn, you have to have your business profile, right? So if you ever think of advertising uh, on LinkedIn, which is another big segment, then you, they, are, they say you must have a LinkedIn company page before you do that. So I, I think uh, I would recommend all of you to join and create your LinkedIn company page. Uh, but at the same time, if you are a business owner locally, I would also recommend uh, growing and, and expanding your ongoing business page as well. So we give you boost uh, on ongoing as well as uh, on all the search engines. Uh, And with that, if I have no more questions, I would I would say we, we meet again in about a month's time. Uh, we try to do this once a month. In May, we did it twice, uh, catching up a little bit. This was our fifth or sixth roundtable this month, I'm sorry, this year on Zoom. We did about 12 to 15 last year. And I think we're looking forward to the days when we'll probably do this live in face-to-face. -face. Uh, I think uh, I, I'm feeling more and more that I think post summer is where we're probably targeting that, you know, sometime in September, let's say. So, but until then, we'll do more of this online as well. And we'll do, we'll always do a mix. I think now uh, I feel that Zoom is here. I think we'll always do something online with the way things are. And then, and, and we'll, we'll do both, you know, as, as the business moves forward. Quick question, Sanjay. Go ahead, Tammy. When you hit, thank you. When you hit save chat, where does it save it? Like it's not downloading to my desktop. Do we go somewhere within Zoom to get it? It saves it on your desktop actually. So it will be there in, in the folder. When you when you quit Zoom, it will show you where the folder is. Okay. If, if I'll let you know event, if it doesn't do it for me. It'll be in your, it'll be, there's a Zoom folder. And it's, oh, okay. And it's yeah, in that it's, folder. It's, thanks. Yeah. It's not going to my desktop, so that's why I was wondering, where does it go? Oh, yeah, you I mean desktop. It. Okay, I was thinking desktop as a computer. Sorry. So, yeah, you, you're right. So, it's, it's under the Zoom folder. Thank you, John. Yes. Yeah. You're welcome. Hey, I, I do have one question. Um, you know, I've, I've got the Facebook company page and a LinkedIn company page. And yes. Just, just started really looking again at LinkedIn. Um, one of the things, is there a way to put a... Does LinkedIn have a button? So like Salesforce or not Salesforce, but Facebook has a, a button where you can offer a lead magnet or something of that sort. I don't, I'm not seeing that on LinkedIn company page. Yes, it does. Actually, it has a button. Maybe it, I missed it. And that's something yeah. I've been looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can actually and you can pick uh, the call to action on the button. So, you know, from anything from learn more to to sign up to contact us. So let me show you the page outside looking in. I think maybe because I was logged in, you didn't see the button. So let me, I'll have to log out for that to show you that <laughs> or, or start a new browser. Let me let me see if I can start a, a new browser instance. While you do that, I'll, I'll add one thing too that I learned when I was bringing the legal part of when I was bringing all this info for my course, we are allowed to repurpose content. So we don't have to write our own blogs and stuff. So you know how people will set, we will repost something that's on a social media you can take that that article, put it on your own blog, as long as you give credit to the original author and have that blog on your website and have everybody coming to your website. So that legally is allowed. Most news stations repurpose content like AOL and everything. They didn't write everything. So but when you, people, people are freaked out, like, well, what am I going to have as content? There's tons out there you can snag. And Tammy, yeah. when you said website, you meant company page. Pardon? Your company website, yeah. You meant, you meant company page, right? Yeah, okay. No, uh, no, your website. Your da 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 dot com, your company website. Well, are you repurposing content on your LinkedIn company page and then directing them to the website or what do you... I'm saying you keep your website as your as your your holy grail home base. And then everything you go out and you post as content out there in social media land, bring them back to your website. So it'll be a blog. So you see an ABC article that's wonderful. Take that article, copy and paste it, put it on the blog on your website, and then post that on social media. Right. Fair enough. Thank you. So let me let me show you uh, quickly two things. One is 
you, are you seeing this outside looking in, John? I am. Yes, yes. So if I'm not logged in as I'm not to LinkedIn, then it will just say follow here. And, and if I click on it, it'll of course it'll ask me to sign in. But if I'm already signed in, then it gives me two options. So let me show you. Uh, sorry, I, I had to do two different browsers to, to do that. Bear with me. So once you're signed in, you have a choice. When you go to the company page, you can follow them, of course. And there is a button right here, visit the website. You see that? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what the member will see when they're logged in. So, and you can, uh, you can choose the call to action here, right? So you can change this to anything you want. How do you do that? I'm sorry. I think you might've showed us this and I missed it. Oh, okay. Okay. So if, if I go view as an admin, uh, yes. So you go under edit page and go under buttons ah. and right here, custom button, visit the website, contact us, learn more, register, sign up. So those are your choices. Yes. Five choices. Okay. Got it. Okay. It, it, it gives you buttons for your uh, showcase pages as well, by the way. So if you do decide to create your, your company page and then your showcase page, the showcase pages also have similar buttons. Yeah. But that's okay. like, that's level two. I wouldn't go there yet. <laughs> well, yeah. So I've, I've been had a, I've had a company page for quite a while, but I've just literally in the last week or two um, started digging into this to see how I was going to improve it. Sure. And then your round table came up. It's like, well, <laughs> talk about kismet. We all, that's exactly what I'm looking at, working on right now. Absolutely. I, I love this time for getting together. I mean, this certainly works very, very well for me. Uh, Fridays work better for you. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Let's try Friday when everybody's in so much focus on work and an afternoon where people are almost tuning on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like I say, my, my coaching practice, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, so Mondays and Fridays, I've got admin and education, professional development stuff that I do, or I might, I might just be exploring. That's and cool. I, I put a link to my blog in there so you guys can see, like I have info about the DOJ, FBI, everything. So as long as I give them credit, I'm allowed to repost. Got it. Got it. Tammy, great. Thank insight. you. Thank you. Thanks, Sanjay. Thank you. Thank you for a lot of beautiful inputs along the way. I appreciate it. And I'm sure we'll do collab. We'll do some more collaboration in the future. Look forward to that. Uh, thank you, everyone. John, uh, you know, I appreciate your inputs. Doug here, Nikita, great, great question. I appreciate it. Uh, I hope, Arthur, it was useful for you. Uh, hopefully, you can build your presence on LinkedIn and all going. This, is, this was awesome for me. Uh, I, I'm on LinkedIn, and I, I have a, one business page that's new. Okay. Uh, but mostly my personal page. So very, very enlightening. Thank you so much for this. No, thank you. I appreciate you joining us. And uh, uh, Cliff as well. Cliff, thank you. And uh, thank you. Know, you. Make sure we all collaborate and network after the roundtable. And, and as I said, if I'm not able to save the chat, just shoot me an email. Uh, you're my contact. And I'll be happy to email the chat to you as well. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sanjay. Have a great Friday, everyone, and uh, have a great weekend and a great week. Thank you. Bye. All righty. Thanks, guys.